Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Tori and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my September TBR. Now the last couple of months, this is actually the first time that I've given myself like a set TBR and I know that's something that a lot of booktubers do intentionally where they will set specific books that they're going to read every month and then there are also other booktubers who do it completely spontaneously, which is what I used to do, but I've actually found a kind of liberating freedom in having a direction for my TBR every month. It's kind of fun to have a checklist of, you know, this is sort of what I feel like reading this month and just getting to check off those boxes. And it makes it a little bit less overwhelming because as pretty much anybody with a fantasy TBR knows, there's a lot of books, it can get really overwhelming, and it can feel like you are never possibly going to get to everything, and so it kind of helps to narrow the field a little bit and focus on a few books at a time. So my TBR for September, I am very, very excited about um, what I am currently reading, and I'm just counting it in my September TBR because I'll be reading most of it in the month of September, is Valor by John Gwynn. This is book two in his Faithful and the Fallen Quartet. I I read Malice last month and I loved it and so I have just started Valor. You can see I've gotten about a hundred pages into the book so far. I'm enjoying it immensely um, and I'm just very very much a fan already of John Gwynn's writing style and him as a person. I've been watching a lot of interviews with him and he's just a really cool human. So this is going to be the first book that I will finish in the month of September. I'm hoping to finish it by the end of the week. We'll see if that actually happens. It's been a little crazy around here. Um, but after that I have a little stack over here. Um, and I do like to try to keep some form of flexibility. So if I start a book this month and I'm just really not feeling it, I will shelve it or I will swap it out with something else. But at some point in the month of December, I want to read The Crown Tower by Michael J. Sullivan. Now this is a prequel series to the Ryuria Revelations, which I finished about a month ago-ish. Um, and this is kind of the prequel story that follows Royce and Hadrian back when they were first meeting each other and first getting going as their little con artist thievery team. I'm definitely excited to go back in time and spend some time with younger Royce and Hadrian and see how they got their start um, in the lifestyle we find them in at the beginning of Ryuria Revelation. The other thing I like about these is, as you can see, they're not actually that crazy long. Um, I think this is, yeah, this is 368 pages, so I'll be able to knock this out in a few days, um, which was another definite win for me because I have read some big books this last month and I have a couple other bigger books on my TBR for this month, so this is just going to be a nice, lighter, easier read, I think. Next up, I have Almond by Wang Pyong Son. This is a literary fiction about a boy who struggles uh, with understanding or feeling certain emotions. One of my goals this year was to pick up some books that were translated from the original Asian languages and read. Um, so this book really caught my interest and just sounded really good. As you can see, again, it's a pretty fast read. This is only, I think, 250 pages. Um, so it's going to be a quick read. It's going to be a good flavor shift from a lot of the fantasy that I'll be reading this month, which sometimes you need a little sprinkle of something else while you're reading very big fantasy novels. This definitely uh, is giving me some literary fiction, uh, struggling teenager vibes, and honestly, sometimes you just need a little bit of that in your TBR. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I'm excited to read this. I'm excited to read something that's been translated from its original Asian language. Um, and I know that this is a very popular book uh, in Korea right now. So I'm gonna see what I think of it. All right, next I have a book that is self-published and I am doing my best to keep a self-published book on my TBR every month as much as I can. This one is The Blood of Outcasts by D.A. Smith. Um, what excited me so much about this book is that the writer, in his own words, calls it a love letter to Rurouni Kenshin, which, if you have been around my channel for any length of time, you know is a story and characters that are very near and dear to my heart. I grew up in high school and uh, junior high watching the anime. Um, 
I love the movies, I love the manga. So when I saw that, <laughs> um, I was super, super excited to check this out. It is a book one in the Bane Sword saga, so there will be more books in this series. I do not know how many. Um, but this one, I believe, came out fairly recently, actually. Yeah, this one just came out this year. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of time before I'm going to have to commit to a longer series with this book. But a gender bender uh, love letter to Rurouni Kenshin is literally the only thing I needed to know about it. I am so excited and so pumped to read this book. It's going to have those really strong Asian fantasy themes with a samurai warrior. Uh, grim dark feel is what it kind of sounds like from the blurb. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a review for this book on my channel when I finish it and let you guys know what I think of it. Um, but I want to definitely start featuring at least one self-published author as often as I can, preferably every month on my channel. All right, this last one is going to hopefully make a bunch of you guys super Super excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to dive into this trilogy. It has been a long time coming. I swore that I was gonna finish Stormlight Archive Rhythm of War before I touched this trilogy and it took a lot of willpower. I'm not gonna lie. It took a lot of willpower for me to wait until this month to put this on my TBR and that is The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie known affectionately as the king of grimdark uh mr abercrombie uh is very well beloved for this series and i have heard nothing but praise for this trilogy for the subsequent books i know that this is very heavily character driven which is for me the make or break of any fantasy novel is how much i emotionally invest in the characters and from what I've been hearing from everybody else, this is going to be a wild, emotional, character-driven ride, and I am so ready for it. So we're gonna kick off September um, with book one of the First Law Trilogy. I do have, where did I put them? I do have <laughs> books two and three on my shelf already, so if I get to the end of book one and I can't stand it, I can go straight into books two and three if I wish. Um, but first law, it's happening. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I have read, um, Joe Abercrombie before. You can check out my Shattered Sea trilogy review, um, on my channel. Um, I love his writing style already. While the Shattered Sea trilogy ended on a really sour note for me, overall, I really, really loved Joe Abercrombie's characterization and uh, writing style. It's a very accessible tone. It's very gritty. It's very dark. It's very um, just simple and straightforward, but still has such a beautiful depth to the characters that it's just a really, really fun, fast-paced read. So that is what I am anticipating and hoping for in the First Law Trilogy. Um, I cannot wait to meet these characters that I've heard so much about. It's gonna be a fun time. I can't wait. This is a, <laughs> this is a very ambitious TBR for me for the month of September. However, I'm feeling pretty good about it, honestly. I think this is pretty doable. I pretty much nailed my TBR from August, and so I feel like I've kind of gotten into a rhythm of how many books I think I can realistically read in a month. This is definitely gonna be am ambitious, um, especially since I'm writing a novel right now. More on that later. Um, but I'm very excited to read all of these books and uh, share with you guys my opinions on them. I hope that you guys are all having a fantastic reading month. I would love to hear what's on your September TBR. Put it down in the comments. Let me know what you guys are reading this month. That's, I think, everything from me for this video. Uh, if you guys have not watched my new Rhythm of War vlog yet, it is up. Please go check it out. Um, it was posted right before this video, so it should be pretty easy to find. Um, and to everyone who's been so incredibly supportive of it so far, thank you so much. Um, it's been a great month on this channel for reading, for videos, and subscribers. We're almost to 900 subscribers, which is awesome. My goal is to hit uh, 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I think we're going to hit that easily in the next couple of months here, which is super exciting. And 
I just feel very grateful that you guys uh, hang out in my little corner of booktube. I love that and I'm so glad you're here. Let me know which of these books you're most excited for me to read. Let me know what you're reading for the month of September and I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will see you in the next video.